Welcome back to The Ed Show, and thanks for watching tonight. It is big news when one of the most prominent Republicans of the Bush administration endorses a Democrat for president. Tonight, the reaction to the endorsement is making headlines as well. Colin Powell, a former general, carefully laid out his case in support of re-electing President Obama on national television yesterday morning. I think generally we've come out of the dive and we're starting to gain altitude. I also saw the president get us out of one war, start to get us out of a second war, and did not get us into any new wars. I'm more comfortable with President Obama and his administration when it comes to issues like what are we going to do about climate? What are we going to do about immigration? What are we going to do about education? I think we ought to keep on the track that we are on. The former secretary of state ruffled some Republican feathers. The Romney campaign deployed former Governor John Sununu to respond. That's when things got ugly. When you take a look at Colin Powell, you have to wonder whether that's an endorsement based on issues or whether he's got a slightly different reason for preferring uh, President Obama. What reason would that be? Well, I think uh, when you have somebody of your own race that you're proud of being president of the United States, I applaud Colin for standing with him. Did you catch the first line from Sununu? Here it is. When you take a look at Colin Powell. He said, when you take a look at Colin Powell, as if it's obvious why Powell would endorse a black president, because you see, he's a black guy too, right? This is outrageous. This morning, radio host Michael Smirkanish had an interview with the president and asked the president of the United States if he was offended by Sununu's remarks. Any suggestion that uh, General Powell would make such a profound statement in such an important election uh, based on anything than what he thought was uh, what's going to be best for America, I think, uh, doesn't make much sense. Well, here comes the mop-up. Sununu has now issued a statement calling General Powell a friend and says that he respects the endorsement. He says... I do not doubt that it was based on anything but his support for the president's policies. It's not exactly an apology, is it, folks? Sununu clearly stated that he thought Powell's decision was influenced by race. It's certainly not about race. It is about policy and the performance of the president of the United States over the last four years. General Powell doesn't think Romney is ready for the job. As for Sununu... He's just coming off as an angry old white guy who just doesn't like diversity. Let's turn to Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, former chief of staff at the State Department during General Colin Powell's term and is currently the Pamela Harriman visiting professor at the College of William and Mary. Colonel, great to have you with us tonight. Right to the point, what do you think of John Sununu's assessment of General Powell? Ed, I have respect for John Sununu as a Republican, as a member of my party, but I don't have any respect for the integrity of the position that he seemed to codify. Look at me, Ed. I'm white. I'm not black. Colin Powell picked me because of the content of my character and my competence, as he did every Asian, Hispanic, white person, black person who worked for him when he was chairman and when he was secretary of state. To say that Colin Powell would endorse President Obama because of his skin color is like saying Mother Teresa worked for profit. Now, do you agree with General Powell's endorsement? He is endorsing the President of the United States, and he very clearly stated why. Would you go along with that? Do you agree with that? I won't, I won't speak for him, but I will say that I thought he was rather forthright in the way he characterized it, and I agree basically with the way he characterized it. President Obama inherited a catastrophe, a failing housing market, a collapsing automobile industry, a huge debt, 800,000 jobs lost. He inherited what George W. Bush and Dick Cheney gave him. And in the four years, roughly, that he's been president, he has made steady improvement. He stabilized the financial system. He saved the automobile industry. He needs another four years in order to make more improvements because there's still a lots, of, lots of improvements that need to be made, including more jobs. So let's give him four years rather than go to a man who is so slick that we don't even know from the primaries to now what he stands for. 
Uh, Colonel Wilkerson, in the comment that John Sununu made, he said, when you look at Colin Powell, there may be some other reasons why he would support President Obama. What, what does this say, if anything, about the Republican Party? Does, it, it, isn't this getting to be somewhat of a brand of the Republican Party? Well, on Governor Sununu's part, I think it was an unfortunate slip of words. But you're insinuating something, and you're insinuating something that is absolutely accurate. My party, unfortunately, is the bastion of those people, not all of them, but most of them, who are still basing their decisions on race. Let me just be candid. My party is full of racists. And the real reason a considerable portion of my party wants President Obama out of the White House has nothing to do with the content of his character, nothing to do with his competence as commander-in-chief and president, and everything to do with the color of his skin. And that's despicable. What does it say about Mitt Romney to allow John Sununu to slip away with this without repercussion whatsoever? I think it says that Mitt Romney will use any, any tactic whatsoever to win the White House. Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, great to have you with us tonight on The Ed Show. I appreciate your candor so much, and thank you for visiting with us tonight.